Welcome back to this episode of Home Build Workshop. Today, we're gonna fix this LED work light. So most of the videos that I share with you guys are videos of me taking something and building something else, whether it's repurposing or something along those lines. But a lot of what I do around the house and in the shop as well is fixing things that may be broken. Instead of throwing things out, a lot of times if you just put your mind to it, you can fix something that's broken and salvage that and get a lot more use out of it. So one example would be this LED work light. Now this is a really inexpensive, it's made by Craftsman. I've had it for quite a while and in the past it worked really well. Most recently I pulled it out, charged it up. I've actually lost the AC charger. I just have a, a 12 volt charger that you can charge in the car. But I charged this thing up. The green light indicated that it was charged. But when I turned it on, there's like barely any light. You can, you can see that it does light up. And the second position, this light barely lights up and the third position both of these are supposed to be on their full brightness but they are not very bright so i was going to throw it away but then i had an idea i thought it might be kind of fun to see if i can fix this maybe replacing the batteries whatever we can find in there that may be wrong with it honestly i think it's just the batteries but i've never really tried anything like this and i also thought it might be kind of fun and hopefully inspire you guys to try to fix some of your things before you throw it out. So I'm gonna attempt to do a new playlist on the channel that when I'm fixing something like this, I'm gonna share that with you guys. Probably is not gonna be all that in-depth unless there's some sort of in-depth uh, removal or uh, reinstallation process but just kind of show you guys along the way that you don't have to throw things away a lot of times if you just think about it and get a little bit creative you can fix it so let's dig into this thing and see if we can make it work again so there's not a whole lot to this that I can see I don't see any exterior fasteners holding the thing together so I'm gonna go out on a whim and think that maybe this comes off and it does. So that is just a cover for the button. Yeah, there's the switch. It's like we have a couple of screws here. I'll go ahead and remove those. Well, maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. That just pulls out. I don't really think I need to pull it out all the way. A couple more screws here. There's our battery pack, which conveniently unplugs. So now I have what I believe is the culprit of this thing not working well, this little battery pack. Now all the specs for the battery pack are right on here. These are uh, AA size, 1200 milliamp hour, and 3.6 volts. Probably wouldn't be too hard to take this apart and wire up your own battery pack using rechargeable batteries. But another option, if you didn't want to get into that, would be to just take this to your local battery shop and they can probably make one up for you. That's what I'm going to start with first and then we'll go from there. So I was able to take the old battery pack to my local Batteries Plus. This is not sponsored by Batteries Plus, but they did a great job. Made me up a new pack right there in-house. They were able to provide the same output batteries, but they upgraded them so that there is more capacity so that hopefully this will have a little bit more runtime. Still gonna have the same power output, but increased capacity. If you've never visited like a specialty battery shop, I recommend checking it out if you have one around that you can visit. Man, there's an amazing amount of different batteries that they stock and their, their in-house capabilities are pretty high. They can rebuild a lot of battery packs and that sort of thing. So I definitely recommend checking it out. It might give you some ideas for some projects. And does it work? Oh, look at that. Nice, ooh, it's bright. Shot myself in the eye. So there it is. This LED light is now fixed. Instead of throwing it away and having to buy a new one for less than the cost of a replacement, 
We replaced the battery pack. This thing is ready to live another day. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this kind of video where I'm just fixing and repairing things. Again, I wanna start sharing this sort of stuff because I do a lot of this kind of thing off the camera just around the house fixing, repairing stuff. So I thought maybe I just might share it with you guys. Let me know what you think. I will be starting this as a new playlist and they're gonna stay kind of short and to the point, just a quick repair or a fix of some sort. So be on the lookout. Let me know some suggestions. You guys got some ideas, some things that you maybe have broken that need fixing. Let me know, give me some thoughts, some feedback. I welcome all of that. So thanks a lot for watching everybody with this project fixed. We'll see you next time. What was that? What was that little meter thing? There was some, <laughs> some weird thing on the screen popped up right there. I have no idea what that was. I've never seen that before. How did this go back together?